Okay guys, so now that we know how to precisely dial our swage tool by CH4DN, and now that you've seen how quickly you can set this up, what I'd like to do for this video is I'd like to run a few of these cartridge cases close up like this. There's a few things I'd like to point out, and I think it will help a lot of you. So first of all, this shell holder, it's specific to CH4D. This is uh, their shell holder. They machine it. And the tolerances on the shell holder, they're incredibly tight. Now, this actually means something to this. Follow along and I'll tell you. So Lee, they manufacture uh, just over a, a dozen shell holders, Redding and RCBS, they manufacture right around 30 different shell holders. CH4D, they manufacture over a hundred different shell holders. So what does that mean to you? Well, think about it. If you're only going to have roughly a dozen shell holders that you're going to be using with all these different cartridge cases, well, the tolerances have to be loose enough that you can swap those cartridge cases out. But when you have over a hundred different shell holders, now you can have shell holders that are tighter fit. All right? So, for you, what does that mean? Well, one thing, let me tell you this. If you use another shell holder, and I'm not saying another shell holder isn't going to work from another manufacturer, but if you use another shell holder with a tolerance that isn't as tight as this, you're going to be able to swap your cases in and out quicker, all right? But if you have too sloppy of a shell holder, you would get something like that. And not every time, but every once in a while, you'll just rip the rim the edge of that rim off, all right? The other thing you'll see is a lot of cases with slightly warped heads, all right? So just kind of think about that. If you're using uh, another shell holder, another brand, and you see that, I think this shell holder would be worth your investment. So uh, yeah, a little slower going in and out, but now let me tell you this, see? With the tolerance of the shell holder, it kind of works to your advantage because Really, if you think about it, if you have difficulty getting that in, you know, I talked to the owner of CH4D, and I asked him this. This is what I asked him. I said, is it a fair statement to say that if I can't fit a shell into your shell holder, don't you think that's a shell I really don't want running through my rifle? And he said, yes, that's a fair statement. So actually, this shell holder is setting you up for success, all right? So, very nice. So now, uh, one thing um, we'll address now is now that we're close up, I wanna show you how you actually want to begin trying to run this. And not everybody's going to pull this off because it's kind of a strength factor. But what you wanna do is you're going to notice that when I run the swager up, this case is going to tilt opposite of the mouth of the case. Okay, so as I come up here, you're going to see the case tilt to the right. Now, what I found is that right there will prime. All right, but how you want to do this is you want to support it with your free hand. Okay, so the first thing I would suggest is a leather glove. And personally, I use a leather glove a lot of times in the reloading process. Now, I'm going to tell this to you guys. Um, one thing, I've been reloading a long time, and there's one thing I'm going to tell you. You have to protect these, and I'll tell you why. If you don't protect these, come the day you shoot, your hands are going to be very tired. You're going to feel every bit more of that recoil. So, the thing with a leather glove is, is what it does is when you're having to hold the case to keep it from spinning, let's say, 
You don't have to grab it hard. You don't have to muscle it. Okay? Your right hand, you know, it's just doing this. That's all it's doing. But your left hand, it's doing all this little stuff. It's always working. So the lighter you can grab something, the better off you're going to be. And may I say this? Okay. This is something that personally I, I would never do. When we're young, we can get away with it. But any of the older reloaders out there will probably agree with me. But if you're trying to speed things up like this, and you're going to sit here and feed this, and holding those like that, so you feed it and eject it, feed it and eject it, you're still having to move this hand, right? Let this hand do all the work, but don't overwork it like this, because this will make your hand cramp. When you are holding your hand like this for an extended amount of time, you're going to cramp your whole hand. So it's best to have a set of gloves, a glove just like this, that you can work. So now what you're going to do is, you know this case is going to tilt towards you. So you can kind of begin spinning this shell holder. And what do you do? You're going to push against it with your leather glove. Because you have a leather glove on, you don't have to grab it as hard. Let the leather do the work for you. Um, and then, so let's say you sit here and you do 20 cases and you start getting tired. Well, now you can just kind of, you can kind of do it this way, okay? I'm trying to do this where you guys can see it, but you're not going to be able to see it. But, so all you're going to do is support it the best you can with your hand. Now, I'm going to guarantee you something, okay? The amount of force coming off this compound linkage, you're not going to keep it straight. But you're, all you're going to do is put a, you don't have to ram it home. You're just going to keep enough force on it that it's, it's not going to tip as much. And that's, that's all you're trying to do, okay? So, come up there like that. Let her have it, okay? Just like that. So now, you know, if, if, if you want, you can just sit there and do it like that. You don't have to move the handle up and down if you don't want, but you know what? I just kind of find that, um, you know, let's bring the handle up like that. Ain't no big deal. Just like that. I see this one's a little ornery going in. So I'm going to spin it. I'm just going to spin it. This is just all range range cases is what it is. So I want to ask you a question. You want that in your rifle? I would, I, I would say not. Okay? That's a fair statement. And uh, you know what? It, it's just not worth it. It just isn't. Okay? And what I'm doing, I'm going to watch my hand here. Ha <laughs> I messed that up, guys. I totally messed that up when I ruined it. That's okay. I'm trying to show you this before I do this. I'm, I'm not, just relax. Don't, if you grab it every time, you're going to wear your hand out. All I'm doing is I'm, as I feel it, as I feel it start to tip, I just give it a little bit and we're good to go. Killed the soldier, guys. Okay. Just like that. So, I think the, the shell holder, very wise investment. Don't lose it. Just keep it attached onto this. It's very uh, specific uh, for a specific job, but I wouldn't hesitate to use it for other operations uh, on the, the reloading press, just don't lose it because uh, you do need it for this, don't you? And think about it, you know, um, you know, okay, little Lee, you know, 
I, I got my I got my lead eyes. I, I, I use them, you know, for my straight wall cartridge. But and you know, you know why you need this? Because you're not going down. You're not going down. You're coming up, and you're going to end up damaging that rim a lot more. All right. So, guys, that's that's how I do it. And uh, and you know what you'll find, you'll find this that every once in a while, you know. First of all, uh, you, you'll put a case in, and it's tight or, or it's extra loose because the cases are all different. And you know what? You just might come up here like this and and uh, get done and look at it, and you bent the head. You just bent the head, and I don't know why. You know, I have no idea why, but it just happens. But with this shell holder, you're gonna have a lot more luck. Okay. And uh, it, it doesn't happen that often, but just understand it, it's going to happen, right? So, okay, guys, that's uh, pretty much the end of this video. So, uh, God bless. We'll see you on the next.